Hey guys, welcome back. Take a little break from the project you see over my left shoulder here. And I'm inside the shop today. I often go back and forth between working on stuff out in the bush and out here out front of the shop and working in the shop itself because I got all kinds of equipment around here and inevitably that equipment needs some maintenance. Now, from time to time, I probably encounter stuff that you guys encounter and what that is is the dreaded R word, rust. You guys know in a climate like this in Ontario, Canada, We've got iron and we've got oxygen in the air. Mix in there a little bit of moisture, a little bit of salt, and guess what? We get this stuff right here. We get some rust. So as you guys can see in front of you, I've got a bunch of stuff here that many of you probably use to fight your own type of rust battle. Some of you guys might get a steel brush like this, or maybe I'll even get a powerful steel brush like this right here. And I tend to use this quite a bit. Now I also put on the wire wheel on the grinder and use that quite a bit. That works really, really well. It takes off a lot of material really quickly, but it is work and well, it's effective, but not necessarily the work I want to do all the time. I also throw this on my grinder from time to time. I just started using these. Uh, I'll try to get you guys the link to where I got this from, but this type of a wheel, it's very abrasive. It not only takes off rust, but takes off paint quite well. So I've been using that lately, but sometimes I'm just not interested in doing all that mechanical uh, work, all that work to get the rust off. I want to use something like this. Something simple, something cheap, and something effective. This right here, I end up putting into a container like this right here. And then I just take all my hardware, and you guys will notice I never really have a shortage of rusty hardware around here. I take this hardware and I basically just throw it into a container with the white vinegar. And if you guys have a look here, I'm just going to tilt this towards you a little bit. I have a series of nuts and bolts that have been in here for probably three or four days. And you can see on the top there, you end up getting a whole bunch of the, the solids, the solid rust that sort of flaked off this. And what it leaves us with is this. And let's have a quick look at it. It leaves us with some hardware. Don't even know what's in there anymore. Can't see through the, can't see through the liquid because it's so, uh, it's so discolored with the, uh, with the rust. Okay, so here's a bolt I'm getting out here and you guys can have a look at it. And here's what I want you to know. This bolt was caked with rust. But as we can see here, I know there's some rust still on it, but this rust is now loose. Whereas before, it was solid. I couldn't take that stuff off unless I got down to work with a grinder. So all I'm using here is a little shop rag. And I'm just, just going around it once or twice. And you guys are gonna quickly notice this bolt, which pretty much was junk before, has now had all the rust loosened up. And you'll see the hardest part of using a bolt that's rusted. See the rust in the threads? Well, now watch what happens, how easily I can take that off with just a very light scrub with my, my steel brush. You just give it a very, very little bit and it, it just comes right off. And I think that's one of the reasons that I like it. You guys might not be able to see that, but it's nice and clean now. And in fact, it's to the point now where I probably would put it back in just for one more soap, maybe for a day or two, and then the bolt is gonna be just like new. But that's what I've been using in order to revive bolts that uh, I might wanna use again. And many of you are out there saying, well, just go down to the store and buy some new stuff. And most of the time that's easy to do. For me though, where I live, it isn't always about the ease of getting the part as much as it is having the part available. If I'm dealing with grade eight bolts, which this happens to be, uh, if I'm looking for this particular bolt in this particular size, sometimes it's just about having it available to me at the store and nothing worse than taking the time to drive down to wherever the store is and them not actually have it. So I like to reuse stuff where possible. Using this little bit of vinegar in a solution definitely helps me do that. If we have another look at some other stuff in here, and got all kinds of stuff in here. What else we got in here? Here's a few heavily, heavily rusted washers that I've had in there. And I'm just gonna pull this out and we'll have a little look-see and you guys can see like, I've, I barely touched this, right? I'm just taking off the residual. But if you have a look there, see that side? And watch, I'll just give it a better wipe here with my rag. And what it's gonna do, all that rust that the vinegar sort of ate at, 
all that rust is pretty much gone. So that that kind of revives this this washer and you're probably saying to yourself, well, once again, go buy this washer. Well, this is a specific washer to a specific piece of equipment. It's thicker than most washers. And so you can't exactly just buy this at your local building center. Um, that's why I want to reuse this part. This part, if I had to order it, I'd have to get it from a, from a catalog, a parts catalog. And uh, it's not about necessarily the cost, but the effort to locate it and then to get it here. So I'll probably throw that back in. We'll just let it uh, eat away at it for a little bit longer. But that's more or less my trick with rust. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw in some of the bits and pieces that are rusty. And then we're going to come back and with a little bit of movie magic, you'll see this after a few days of soaking. So let's have a look what we're dealing with to start with. So a bit of surface rust there. Yes, you could take a wire wheel, wire brush, you could get that off. But if you have a box of nails, isn't it easier just to throw the nails into a container like this? with about a buck worth of vinegar than it is to take each individual nail and wire wheel it, I would say. So we're gonna throw that in there. And one of my least favorite things, rusted threaded bolts. We're gonna throw that in there. Throw that mosquito in there in a minute. We've got another bolt here, pretty rusty. That's going in. You guys know what that is there. These are the, uh, the nails used for holding down wood to concrete. Okay, very, very rusty. Another one of those guys. Darn mosquitoes, and one of these guys, okay? We're gonna throw in the nut as well. I even throw in nuts that have the, uh, what do you call it there, the, uh, the bushing in there. What do you call that? I forget the type of nut, but I throw that in there as well. It's just, it's just household white vinegar. It's not gonna cause you any problems. We're gonna make sure that's submerged. I'm gonna leave it for a few days and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna see exactly how it works. And trust me, if this didn't work, I wouldn't care to show you, but I'm just showing you this because it works for me and I think it is that good. All right, guys, welcome back. It is a bright sunny day out there, so I have the doors behind me closed, but in front of me is the exact same setup I left you with. What you guys can see is those nails and in fact I added one additional nail after I stopped the camera last time so we have two nails that have been sitting in this solution of white vinegar and that's all that's in here and in the very bottom as I'll show you in a minute there's some nails and I got some other hardware in there if we uh, get a little zoom in there you guys can see all the rust and whatever other good stuff that was on those nails and on that hardware it sort of floated to the surface and it created that orange looking sludge not the good stuff that I like to drink but if we uh, pull these out of here, you guys will notice first and foremost, well, it doesn't look like much, but watch this. If I were to take something and maybe even just my uh, steel brush here and just give it a very light brush off, you guys see like that? And then I'm just going to take this old soup can, which has plain old water in it, and I'm just going to just rinse it off a bit. Have a look at that. You guys see the difference? Whoops. You guys see the difference there? On the left is where I had that vinegar and I didn't scrub it or anything. You guys saw me, I had it sitting in the vinegar and on the right is what the nail started with. So that's pretty slick in my books. Allowing something to, um, you know, eat away at the rust while it just sort of sits there is kind of convenient. And uh, I didn't have to do anything fancy here and I certainly didn't have to scrub the rust off or hit it with the wire wheel. It definitely uh, brought it back down to bare metal. We'll wipe it off just so you can see what that looks like. Get a little bit better. You can see there it is there. So it takes that surface rust right off. And that's one of the reasons I like using that vinegar. And let's just see what else we got in here. Can't quite remember to be honest with you. Okay, so we had a bolt in there. And if I do the exact same thing, you don't even need to have a wire brush. I'm just using it to take some of the bigger particles off. And I'm not scrubbing it. I'm literally using it like you'd use a soft bristle brush. Uh, there you go. And then I'll just dip it in water. And I'll just hit it with a, a sock, which happens to be one of my uh, go-tos for shop rags. In fact, I think this one's got some life in it. I better put this back on my foot. Anyways, you guys can see there, I didn't do anything to this bolt here besides put it in the vinegar and let it sit there for four days. And that's pretty slick compared to what it used to look like. It was solid rust. And let's just see what else we got in here. You guys might remember this one. This was the... Uh, 
the uh, anchor. This was the uh, nail that you used to put into concrete for anchoring uh, sill plates and stuff like that. Here it is. This was completely covered in rust. And all I did, I didn't even use the wire brush this time. I just put it into the plain old water and you guys can see there. That's pretty slick, right? At the very least, it took off the surface rust and made it, uh, made it all clean again. And there's just a plain old nail. It was solid rust as well. Just going to drop it into the water to get the rest of the vinegar off. And I'll just dry it off here. That's kind of that's kind of nice, you know. If you got a big batch of nails and they all got rust on them because they're not galvanized, throw it into a little thing of thin of can't talk. Throw it into a little thing of vinegar. Let it sit there for a few days. Wash it off with water, and there you go. So that's just about it. I just want to show you guys that definitely nicer than having a bolt that looks like this when you can have a bolt that looks like this. So if you guys have any questions at all, put it down in the comments. This is my go-to setup, white vinegar. It's cheap. It is certainly cheaper than some of the commercial rust remover products that are out there. And it's not harmful. This right here, you know, you can put your hands in it. Worst it's going to smell like is vinegar. And it's certainly not going to harm your skin. So there's my two cents on that. As I said, if you guys have any go-to stuff, uh, concoctions, whatever, that you use to remove rust, I'd love to hear about it. Put it on down below in the comments. And for everyone out there, hope things are well with you guys. Hope you don't break off any more bolts and nuts. And well, if you do break them off, hopefully it's not on anything important. And guys, you all take care. Check out my other videos and I'll see you next time.